Good morning. All right, so I'm gonna be working with um, a small canvas today. I don't really have much time to mix up a ton of paint, so what I'm doing is just utilizing what I already have made up. Um, I have a Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine, and that is mixed uh, with Mix Pouring Medium right here. There's a link in uh, the video description to um, connect to it, and if you want to buy some, you can. Uh, I highly recommend it. It is wonderful pouring medium. Um, this is iridescent fairy blue, I believe, by Arteza, and this is actually mixed with Floetrol. Um, it's just leftover paint that I'll be using. I have Golden's Iridescent Pearl White as well, mixed with Mix. And this here is Arteza's, I believe it's Sea Green. Got some stuff on the bottom, but. And this is mixed with Mix as well. Um, mix, you can mix, mix, pouring medium. <laughs> um, seven parts of the medium to one part of the paint. So let's say seven ounces to one ounce of the paint. And it blends beautifully and the colors are amazing. <clears throat> the vibrancy doesn't die down. I know with Floetrol, like the vibrancy of the color can be dulled out and you have to always adjust your paints by adding a little more to get the color that you choose. But with Mix, you don't have to do that at all. Um, and this is Prussian Blue by Golden. Um, and this is also mixed with Floetrol. I've never had a problem uh, with Floetrol and um, Mix being in the same pour. So um, we are gonna see how this works out today. So I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna layer up my cup here and I'm putting in the pearl white. And I think I'm gonna go with the sea green after that. And gold. The iridescent fairy blue. And we're gonna go back to the white, the rest of it. Just using up some colors. The gold. I'll do some more gold. And the Prussian blue. And I'm actually, if I have enough, going to use the rest of it on the canvas. And that's my coffee maker turning off. <laughs> Just a little added bonus in this, this morning's video. All right. So might need a little more, but I'm not gonna do much with that right now. So then I have here a white. 
It's mixed with mix and it's my Artist Loft White here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put from up high, drop it in there. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but it's always fun to look or watch for that matter. So, all right, here we go. We're gonna do, I'll pour from this side. gonna spread some of the gold around the edge just so that nothing necessarily folds over. off this corner over here. Lovely. Okay. Let's get this corner. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to bring you guys in because this piece is gorgeous and we're going to bring you guys in to take a look. Okay, so here are the results. Um, 
I am missing an overhead light. I took it out so that the reflection wasn't as bad, but of course the other ones are showing up. Um, but this is so beautiful. All those little speckled areas are actually the iridescence to the paints. And uh, once this is dry, I will certainly show you the end results of using Floetrol and Mix in the same pour. Um, I know that recently somebody had said that they uh, be believed that the reason why their painting cracked was because they used the Floetrol and the Mix combined. Um, but I have done that before and I have never had a problem. So I just figured to make a video showing that. But look at all these lines. Uh, mix is just amazing. I love this pouring medium. Um, and you get cells with it. Um, what else? I don't know. But uh, this painting's great. I love it. It's cute. It's little. It's a 12 by 12 um, ring pour. And I mean, look at these bands right here. That's from just pouring the white into the cup from up high. There's no satin enamel in this at all. This was strictly Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Uh, so you too can get these results um, by not using um, the satin enamel. Um, I actually don't have any left. Um, all right, so I know a lot of you have mentioned uh, you can't get this uh, pouring medium in Canada. Uh, so you can, eventually you will be able to. Uh, right now the borders are shut down for freight trucks, so um, nobody can ship over there, uh, but their intentions are to be able to in the future as soon as those borders and bans li are lifted. As for overseas or other countries, I'm not sure what the logistics are with that currently or where they stand. Um, I know a lot of you really want it, uh, but we just have to wait a little while. They're a small shop. They just started out. I know in um, down the road that, you know, shipping will most likely change. Um because it is expensive to send everything out priority, but they send it priority because um, it gets to you faster, but also uh, priority mail, they take more care in their delivering than they would ground mail. Um, I've experienced that personally. So anywho, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me babble. Um, I'm really excited about this piece and how it dries and you just see the layers of paint. It's so transparent. Um, I love it. Thank you so much for all of uh, your support. Um, it does not go unmissed. I'm working on a really, really long list <laughs> of people. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out a way where I can thank you all for your, all of your support. Um, have a wonderful day.